Hi folks, the Filipino P here. And Jojo. And today we're gonna give you the scoop on the city of Baguio, known as the summer capital of the Philippines. Baguio is one of the most unique cities here in the country and a very popular tourist destination, right Jojo? Yes. There's a lot of things you can do here, so before we tell you all about what we found, we're gonna have a little fun in the form of a paintball duel. It's a battle to the death, so place your bets now. I'm gonna kick your butt, Jojo. I'm gonna kick your butt now. Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome to the Battle of Baguio. It's me versus Jojo. Yeah. And today we've got 50 paintballs each and we'll try to hit each other, hopefully not too painfully. The rule of the game, it's first 10 kills win. So are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. First, we have Kuya to do the uh, orientation. Protect yourself of any kind of... Uh... Protect yourself. Oh, always use protection, guys. Yes. <laughs> Finger out. Finger out. Okay. Push, uh, okay. Point to the ground. Okay. Number three. Uh, observe the 10 feet rule or 20 feet rule for kids. Offer your opponent to surrender or die. Make sure you are also protected. Okay, so basically those are the rules, Kuya. Never take off your mask. Strictly mm -hmm. follow the safety precautions. Yada, yada, yada. Observe mm -hmm. 10 feet rule. No blind shooting. Don't pick and spend use paintballs. And take care of our mask and our equipment. No swearing and basically that's about it. No flipping and if you have extra guns, you have to surrender yes. it to Kuya. Kuya, how would you know if, you know, we don't have extra guns? Aren't you gonna frisk us? No? Okay. Darn. Are you sure? <laughs> because I'm so ready. And Jojo as well. Okay. Yeah. I like their masks. Yeah. I feel like I'm Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. But actually, that's not the real cult from the movie. It's no. I am your father. I think it's because of the Mandela effect. Ready to rumble! This is not fair. She's too skinny. I can't see her. Oh! Oh, I got hit! Oh. <laughs> One second. I got hit. I got hit by Jojo. Okay. Did I hit Round you? Round two. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You got me! Oh no! She got hit! Jojo's hit! Cardio. I got hit! I got hit right in the eye! I can see your fat head, you skinny little. Oh my god. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Well, I'm not. Uh, uh. 
That's the double tap. You're bleeding. Yeah, it's She's bleeding. She's bleeding like an alien. Congratulations. Wow, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes, it is. But you shoot me in the butt. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope it didn't yes. leave a mark. Well, it did. Oh, no. Look at this part here. Holy smokes, it's bruised. Yeah, well, don't but worry. it's fine. Don't worry, we'll patch it up later. Yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. Let's get yes, some water. Yes, me too. I'm so thirsty. Let's go. I want a rematch. Oh, sorry. It's all been decided. Oh. Maybe we do uh, something else next time. Maybe bowling. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. so what's bag you really like? Well, Jojo and I spent a week here meeting with real estate agents, finding out about the traffic conditions, checking the internet, investigating the healthcare system, and mm -hmm. examining the social scene, yes. right? And hopefully this info will let you determine if Baguio is a good option as a place to live or for you to retire in here in the Philippines. All right, so Baguio City. Its location, it's in a high elevation, above 5,000 feet above sea level in the northern mountains. And it was founded in 1900. So basically, Joe, the city is fairly new. Yes. And it was also built as a U U.S. military base, mm -hmm. uh, Camp John Hay. And it's very well maintained. Uh, Baguio City is very clean, uh, not a lot of trash. Did you yes, notice that? you're right. Everything is clean and green. It's very lovely. Compared to Cebu. To Cebu. Yeah, Cebu. You can see garbage everywhere and the smell. Eee, I can't really... Oh. I know, and I've one thing I've noticed as well, mm -hmm. there were not a lot of stray animals. I'm not sure, but did you notice that? Yes, well? I can't see anything here. Like, Well, at least for the green. places that we visited mm -hmm, here in Baguio. Yes. And the quality of air is extremely clean, and it yes. smells like... Pine trees! Yes! That's why it's called the City of Pines. Yes. So, talking about temperature. Mm -hmm. So, Joe, Baguio's biggest advantage for foreigners is the climate. Mm -hmm. Not yes. for all, because most of you guys come to the Philippines because it's warmer. But uh, the average temperature here in Baguio is between 56 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So, it's between 13 and 24 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's why it's very cold. Yeah. For a Filipino, it's very cold. How about you, Joe? Did you feel yes, cold here? I feel cold every time, to be honest. Like, I keep on wearing uh, jackets because, oh, I can survive. In you a can cold. survive? Yeah, I <laughs> you can, can survive. survive in a cold area. <laughs> even, even during noontime, when we were walking, mm -hmm. uh, when we were in the city, I'm always, you know, wearing jackets here. Yes, we need to. I mean... You can't just wear like this. Yeah, except for if you're going to bed. But yes. yeah, I can I can wear a vest here, maybe mm -hmm. during the summer. But during mm -hmm. my time when I was living and working here, yes. I'm always wearing uh, thick clothes mm -hmm. or a turtleneck. Yes. I was hoping that our room has a fireplace so that we can yeah. do s'mores or, you know, marshmallows. Although you don't <laughs> like marshmallows. Yeah, I don't like marshmallows. <laughs> oh, you still remember. <laughs> yeah, I, you see, I'm a good friend. I, yeah. I remember. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about natural disasters here in Baguio. Um, apparently, there's a high risk of earthquakes. And in 1990, um, mm. there, was, there was a big earthquake. I think it was 7.8 magnitude. I think it was in the news and TV, like the destruction of, of Baguio City. Yeah. Lots of casualties. And I think recently there was like, um, in 2022, there was a um, magnitude 7.0 oh, uh, earthquake that mm -hmm. hit Baguio. Or maybe not really in Baguio, the, the epicenter, but it was, it was affected. And sometimes mm -hmm. they get hit by typhoons. Well, I was here... Uh, before there was a typhoon here, oh, and then really? it was it was yeah it was mm -hmm. it was kind of scary you know yeah it's, it's very scary it's prone to landslides mm -hmm. and uh, flooding oh. you would be thinking you know like it is a you know it's a mountainous area why is it flooding, flooding yeah there is flooding in some low lying areas so yes. yes because most of the time it's landslide right yeah yeah can you just imagine those houses yes my god it's crazy when they have landslide so for you guys out there uh thinking about the risks of natural disasters mm -hmm. pretty much the whole country we have yes, those in every yeah, yes. island <laughs> yeah. 
in Leyte, we're very prone to typhoons. But yes. Here up in Baguio, earthquakes. All right, so as far as getting to Baguio, it used to take five hours by bus from Manila. Mm -hmm. It's very treacherous. So you took the bus before, right? Yes, of course. And it's so scary. You know, the driver drives so fast and then the there's no guardrail in the you know in the area and then you can see all the cliff and you might think, Oh my god, you're gonna fall with that. <laughs> but thankfully, you know, I'm still alive, yeah. so I allow you survived. I arrived. Yeah, yeah I survived. arrived safely. But you know, it. You don't want to. You don't want to like really, it. Yeah, it was. It was rare. It was really scary. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, finally, uh, there are flights to Baguio. Yes. But only from Cebu to Baguio. Mm -hmm. There's no flights from Manila to Baguio. You still have to uh, take the bus or from Pampanga. Yes. But um, for the flights, uh, the cost it varies so this time i paid about 100 dollars one way so mm -hmm. that's from cebu to baguio which is i like because it's only like what two um almost two hours yeah. from mm -hmm. cebu to to baguio so it's better than five to seven hours in the yes. bus yes <laughs> and you're thinking about oh am i gonna arrive there safely or i'm i'm just gonna die here <laughs> i know although uh to reach the airport Planes have to fly at a low altitude, mm -hmm. and it's almost like you're riding a roller coaster because uh, one time the plane was banking this way, and I can see the roofs of the houses, oh. and uh, it was like it was scary because mm -hmm. it's almost doing yes. that. It's the maneuvering, and they had to land so so quickly. It wasn't really a smooth landing, but I'd rather fly than take the bus ride mm -hmm. all right so as for transportation one thing mm -hmm. i noticed there are no trikes here yeah no hub, no um tuk -tuk. Uh, yeah tuk -tuk and no habal habal <laughs> yeah no habal habal yeah. there are plenty of jeepneys but not enough taxis yes you are right you know the other night <laughs> we were walking and then we're almost trying to well you know chasing yes. we're chasing the taxi driver yes you're right yeah please Take us! Begging. So, like, oh please, Manong driver, can you take us please? We really need to ride a taxi. <laughs> yeah, they um, apparently one of the mm -hmm. drivers told us that they just added 200 more units yes. of taxis here in Baguio. But still, Yeah, there's... and you can see it. Like, where's the 200 units? Why we keep on chasing? <laughs> yeah, and oh, <laughs> the queue at the mall for yeah. the taxi. Mm -hmm. It's very long. For some odd reason, there are very few motorbikes compared to other places, compared to Cebu or mm -hmm. Dumaguete. Especially yes. in Dumaguete, it's like swarming with motorbikes. Mm -hmm. But here, there are only a few. Have you noticed that, Jill? Yes, and most of them, there were couples. You know, there are lovers that, you know, riding on a motorbike. How would you know? Well, because they're hugging to each other, like, oh, hugging so tight. Like, hugging so tight. Yes, like, oh, don't leave me, baby. <laughs> I know because in Cebu, if you're riding a motorbike like the Angka, yes. we don't hold the driver. Yes, we, we just hold the here the chair. in the in the, yes. the handle. Yes, or else you just do it like that. Yeah, like just like that. Yeah. Kuya, let me just hold you yes. this way. Okay, not not too tight. Not too like tight. God. So most of them are lovers. Okay, yeah. you're very observant, Joe. Of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the city of Baguio is pretty crowded for a relatively small city. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the traffic here is bad the congestion they're doing a coding system for mm -hmm. private vehicles to ease the traffic so if your license plate ends mm -hmm. with the numbers one and two you are not allowed to go out on Mondays mm -hmm. so it's three and four on Tuesdays as with many cities not enough parking did you notice yeah yeah there are no parking spaces here mm -hmm. and since there are no parking spaces here people like to walk and yes. the walkways are very steep everywhere going mm. to this going to the mall yes. and then you know it's so hard for people with knee problems or other physical disabilities can you imagine yes. if you're a blind person walking it might be hell because mm. the the roads are not leveled properly leveled and yes. there are obstacles even in the in the uh, the trail down there yes. the roots of the pine trees there are you're gonna be tumbling down like yeah. Jack and Jill. So you must be careful while walking. Yeah. So it's not good for you know 
for people with disabilities, mm -hmm. I'd say. Um, how about the internet? Did you notice that the internet is actually good in hotels and yes. other uh, other establishments? Mm -hmm. But when we were in the city, you were like, hello, hello. Uh, 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 yes. It's like I'm, dropping. Yes. And also your data, though, you just loaded your phone and then, oh, we don't have data. Mm -hmm. But in, in the hotel here, it is actually good. good I was yeah. like streaming Netflix. Mm -hmm. so It's perfect. It's actually. perfect. With <laughs> some of the, the mm -hmm. establishments. So it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But... You know, we were asking the um, the drivers yes. the other day about the power outages here mm -hmm. in Baguio. It's yeah. the same, pretty much. Uh, they told us that there are some some days that uh, there are long power outages mm -hmm. here in Baguio. Yes. So, yeah. So you can't escape that, guys. It's yes. like the, <laughs> all throughout the Philippines. Mm -hmm. But. Let's talk about food. Ah, food! Oh, yeah, I love food. We're food. foodies. <laughs> yeah, we're foodies. So yeah. tell us about the food, Joe. Do you like the food here in Baguio? Yes, it's very nice. I mean, you know, uh, it's the fresh. Yeah, the selection, it's fresh, especially the, so, the vegetables. The vegetables. The fruits. And also, on the way home the other day, mm -hmm. we found a good selection of imported Western, yes. uh, Western food. Uh, there's like the deli. They're selling wines, mm -hmm. they're selling cheeses, yes. and um, other stuff that you guys enjoy. Mm -hmm. And chocolates as well. Alright, so for restaurants, there are plenty of different types. Uh, there's Persian, there's Greek, there's Italian, um, American restaurants, mm -hmm. and uh, the Filipino. Food isn't really cheap here, but yeah. very fresh ingredients. When you say vegetables, salads, soups, yeah, they're good. I think the average meal mm -hmm. in a restaurant is around five to seven dollars depending on what kind of food mm -hmm. but obviously they have the street food and stuff but yes. if that's not your scene for a good restaurant it's between five to seven dollars healthcare yeah healthcare it's very important mm -hmm. uh, there are three good hospitals um here in baguio and lots of doctors and specialists so even though the city seems isolated up in the mountains you shouldn't be worried but again if you need open heart surgery then it's best for you to fly to the big you know bigger big city cities, like yes. manila all right so you guys were asking about real estate here in baguio so i think baguio is more of an upscale city and the real estate prices reflect that and there's not a lot of places to rent that i've seen yeah way back when i was here um, I had I had to share mm -hmm. the place because it's quite it's quite expensive yeah, for my expensive. you know mm -hmm. for my budget. Um, it's pretty high compared to other places. Um, sure, you can find a good deal uh, here and there if you know the right people, but. For me personally, you have to spend more on housing here, maybe 20 to 30% uh, more. There's also land for sale, but it's also a lot higher than most places. Yes. So finding a place to live is going to cost you if you want to stay here long term. And there's, um, there's this golf course, real estate, like it's a high-end subdivision. Uh, they're selling it for 34 thousand pesos per square meter yes. it's a lot yes it's kind can of expensive you, my god can you afford that <laughs> no i can't afford it. even that. if we <laughs> even if we sell our kidneys no. <laughs> all right so now we're going to be talking about the thing that you want to hear guys the social scene you might be surprised because the average age is very young. Median age is about 22 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, there are plenty of call center agents here. Lots of kids um, at the parks and the malls yeah. and other places. I was so surprised when we were riding the jeep. And it's like there's there's a lot of young people here. Yeah. Like, you know, Youngster. young adults. <laughs> youngsters. Young adults. Yeah. And... Um, the city has a young vibe because of the yes. uh, the animes on Session the Road, costumes, the costumes, yeah. the city uh, festivals. Mm -hmm. And I just heard from one of the staff of the hotel that there's a law uh, that was just passed recently. There's the anti-cursing law. So you are not supposed to swear. Mm -hmm. Maybe because there's a lot of kids here. Yeah. Actually, there's not a lot of foreigners here. So you might have a hard time making friends with other foreigners. Foreigners here seem to be with older Filipinas. Yeah. Have you noticed? <laughs> yes. There are not, they're not, there's not a lot of 
age gap relationship yes. here. Yes, they you know uh, it's very different in Cebu or in other places. Like you can see, uh, there's an older foreigner and then a young, younger yeah, Filipina. younger Filipina. But here, they're almost the same age, right? Yeah, they're That's almost at the same age, mm -hmm. and there are. I think I only saw three couples yeah. <laughs> during our stay. Yes. I think one when we arrived mm -hmm. and uh, one in SM yes. and one on Session Road. Yeah. So not a lot. Not a lot. So not good for a dating scene for mm -hmm. foreigners. So it's definitely B-Y-O-F, which means bring your own Filipina. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our report on Baguio overall, folks. So, for me, I'd give it an A for tourism and maybe a C plus for a retirement destination. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of things for you to do, but unless climate is the deciding factor for you, Baguio is better to visit than to live in. Well, I'll be back in three days with who knows what, but whatever it is, I know you're gonna like it. So, till then, folks. Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Time to go to bed. Hey, P. Yes, Jojo. Why did you shoot me in the butt? Ah, uh, not that again. You sound like Forrest Gump. I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, so I'd, I'd like to see that. I hope my butt looks better than that. Oh, Jojo, go to sleep. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your stewardess, making sure you stay in an upright position during the video and guiding you to the exits. The exits of all your worries about life in the Philippines. The captain has asked that you please give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel. And for your entertainment, we have a selection of other in-flight movies for you to enjoy. In the case of an emergency landing, place your head between your knees and kiss your ass goodbye. Have a nice flight!